The bones in our bodies are alive, growing, and changing all the time. Our bones are composed of different layers. The outer surface of bone is called cortical bone. This is the smooth, hard part of the bone that we can see when we look at a skeleton. Inside the cortical bone is the trabecular bone. This type of bone looks like a sponge and helps to protect the bone marrow. The constant process of bones growing and changing is known as bone remodeling. This process is carried out by specific cells in our bones. Cells called osteoclasts have the role of breaking down our bone and removing any parts that need replacing. At the same time, cells called osteoblasts have the job of making new bone and helping to repair any parts of the bone that have been damaged. On Earth, in healthy individuals, this process is normally balanced so that the same amount of bone is made and broken down. In space, astronauts are exposed to lower levels of gravity than on Earth. This means that they have less mechanical stress put on their bones as they move around. Scientists believe that the bones naturally try to adapt to this new environment by increasing the rate that the bone is broken down by the osteoclasts. Meanwhile, bone formation continues to occur at the same rate as it does on Earth. The result is an imbalance in bone remodeling which leads to an overall decrease in bone mineral density. While in space, astronauts can manage with lower bone density, but when they return, their bones are less able to cope with Earth's gravity. This increases the risk of fracture and injury. Scientists use many different tests to measure the density of the astronauts' bones. Results show that the astronauts, while in space, lose bone in a similar pattern to people on Earth who suffer from osteoporosis, but the astronauts lose it at a much faster rate. Scientists have found that exercise, when combined with good nutrition and increased vitamin D intake, is able to preserve some of the bone that was previously being lost. Since 2008, astronauts have been able to use a new exercise machine called the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device, or ARED. It is thought that this increase in force triggers the formation of new bone, bringing more balance to the bone remodeling process and allowing the bone density to stay at roughly the same level as it was before the spaceflight. It is a significant achievement to be able to maintain bone density in space, but more experiments need to be carried out to see whether the new bone which is formed in space has the same structure and strength as new bone which is formed on Earth. Understanding bone loss associated with microgravity may lead to better preventive care or therapeutic treatments for people on Earth suffering bone loss as a result of bone diseases like osteopenia and osteoporosis or for patients on prolonged bed rest.